Ray and I'm back with another video today. And today's video is going to feature these babies right here. Okay, so there's a new wave on YouTube in the YouTube community and I just had to hop on. And these are called waveformers. Now, these are supposed to get your hair really straight, a heatless like wave type beach flowy curl without using any type of heat now i've seen a lot of youtubers say that they wish they would have done this style on uh, stretched hair dry hair instead of wet, wet hair i've seen a lot of fails going around on youtube so i decided to go ahead and stretch my hair and i'm going to do my first trial through on stretched hair now i got these off of ebay i ordered them on ebay they're called the 12 piece magic hair curl formers I'll try to have that link low in the description box. So you can just click the link and go straight to the product. Um, there were three, I ordered three packs, 12 total come in each pack. And they give you six blue ones and six yellow ones. And I just went ahead and ordered three packs totaling into 36. And it also comes with the this little tool that you use to figure out it on here. but um you use this tool to feed your hair through and be able to bring it through the curl former and each pack comes with one of these so i have three in total now i'm not even gonna lie to y'all it took a month for these to get to me they come from china I can't even remember if it was tax included or in, if that was shipping and handling. I can't remember, but I want to say they were about 5 to $6 each pack. It made my total be $19.20 in all. It took a month, and they let you know that up front right after you order that um, your expected delivery date is probably going to be about a month from the day you order. And then it may can come earlier. You never know. So I just went ahead and took that chance. So like I said, I'm going to start off on stretched hair and we are going to get this show on the road. Okay, now the products I'm going to use today, since my hair is stretched, um, to get the curls that these waveformers put in my head, I'm going to have to use something that's going to give me some holes. So today I'm going to use the Wrap Set Mousse by Olive Oil or ORS. It's a, like a setting lotion. It has a really light hold. And then I'm gonna also use my Eco Style Gel. It's the Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil one. This one right here. And these are the only two products I'm gonna use today. Okay, now that I'm set, I'm not going to start off with big sections. Okay, I'm familiar with using um, wave form, I mean, curl formers. I've used those before. And I know how tricky it can be getting your hair on these little hooks and getting them fed through. Um, I kind of struggled a little bit with curl formers. I have used those one time. I really didn't like, it's been about a year, maybe a year and a half since I used my curl formers. Um, I think what I didn't like about it is um, my hair actually came out looking a lot shorter than I would have liked. Um, my hair has grew some, so maybe I'll try to bring out my curl, curl formers and try those again, but yeah i wasn't really feeling them so i'm gonna take a section probably about this size starting off if i if i see where i can go a little bit bigger as i um as i keep going i'll go ahead and go a little bigger but right now i'm just gonna start off with this size and i'm just gonna take probably about one pump for this size of the 
sitting lotion or a sitting mousse, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll probably take not much because I don't want my hair to start reverting too much. Hence the whole point of me doing it on stretch hair. About this much, Jill. Not too much. And then rub this through. And then I'll probably go ahead and take a little bit more and focus it on my ends. I'm going to start off twisting my root just so the hook goes on smoothly without any other hairs kind of getting in the way or getting left out because these little things can snag your hair. Slide the wave former up towards close to my roots and then now I'm gonna just drag my hair through and just as simple as that there it is. There it is. Hmm. We are going to see how this turns out. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna take this down, but I think I am gonna do the rest of them with the wave with this flipped over and the wave kind of coming out first, then going in. I don't know, I just feel like it would look better. We'll see. Probably gonna be here a while, but this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my head. Okay, y'all, I went ahead and brought my Tangle Teaser out to play. I want to also make sure it's really smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in the mix. You'll see here in a few where I have to remove one of my waveformers and combine it in the back and then put the extra one in the front. I think I started off with my sections a little too small and I had to start getting a little bigger because I was running out. So just a tip, you may want to start off with uh, semi big sections if you only order three packs. Okay, now I've started the takedown process, which is really, really simple. All you do is grab the waveformer at the root of your hair and it slides off so easy, y'all. That's it, just slide them all off.
Okay, now that I have them all out, I was really, really surprised at how straight and flat my hair was. I really was not expecting that since a lot of my uh, sections were starting to revert when I put the waveformer on, but it actually smoothed my hair out really good. So I'm just gonna apply some oil to my hair and gently separate each wave and just fluff. Y'all, this style, it's it turns out a little flat when you first take the waveformers out, but just pick, fluff, separate until you get it to your liking. And that's all you'll see me doing here. Might be able to see a few areas where I have a few flakes. Um, I chose the Eco Style Gel, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed brand because it normally doesn't give me any flaking. But the flakes wasn't anything that I couldn't control and that I couldn't handle. They were actually really big flakes in a few areas, so I was just able to pick them out and everything turned out just fine. Now y'all know I had to lay my edges. Uh, today I used the Edge Booster Edge Control I picked up at uh, my local beauty supply store. I'm gonna have that linked in the description box below. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I'm not even gonna lie, I was a little nervous about it at first because it was really flat. But once I got these in, I sat under my hooded dryer for probably about 30 minutes, but I also kind of let my hair air dry for about maybe an hour, hour and a half before I sat under, the, uh, under my hooded dryer. So I would say probably overall, if you sit under a hooded dryer for about an hour, your hair will be completely dry. Um, I even, in the back, took my hand blow dryer to blow some in the back because I felt like my ends weren't all the way under the hooded dryer because of the curl formers wouldn't allow me to go all the way in um that even works um i also will say that these can be a little bit agitating um it causes a lot of tension i even have some places in my head where my sc scalp is kind of sore because of the weight that the curl former has so definitely would not want to sleep in these you would want to go ahead get them in your head get under the dryer so you can get them out but um i think that's probably all of the cons i have a reminder when using this uh remember to twist your roots so you don't have um any snagging when you try to pull your hair through with the hook as my hair has settled in, it's starting to uh, get bigger and fluff out like it naturally does with any hairstyle. I would definitely recommend doing this hairstyle on stretched hair because, let me see if I can find that area. Okay, like the only thing I would say is in areas where I kind of put a little bit too much gel my hair started to revert naturally revert on its own so you can see my natural curls trying to come through a little bit but i act but i wanted to make sure i put enough product so the my hair will actually take the form of the wave so you kind of just got to be really really precise with the amount of product that you use um, I've never tried this on wet hair, so I don't know what my results would be doing it on wet hair. But thumbs, I will give this product a thumbs up. Um, my hair is really light. It feels and looks just like if I would have gotten my hair straightened and then curled it. Don't forget to check the description box below. I'll have this link to where you can buy these. Hit that subscribe button and go ahead and tap the bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. I really, really hope you all enjoyed this. Until next time.